Is alcohol and drug addiction the result of a person's weak will and their unwillingness to manage their lives? Can't those drunks just put the plug in the jug and get on with their lives? The answers to these questions and answers to a few more misconceptions about chemical dependency is the basis for my speech. According to the American Psychiatric Association, drug addiction is considered a psychological disorder. Drug use is not new in America. Uh, the Native Americans were using peyote hundreds of years before the settlers arrived. And the settlers brought with them across the Atlantic alcohol when they came from Europe. According to the American Society of Addictive Medicine, alcohol was used as a painkiller and an antiseptic in the 1800s. It was also used as a cure for some stomach illnesses. Morphine was actually given to the soldiers and used for pain during the Civil War because of all the amputations and all the carnage that uh, the soldiers experienced. Opium could be found in the patented medicines and as late as the late 1800s and the early 1900s. Actually, uh, the patent medicines were very popular with the housewives uh, that was distributed by those traveling salesmen. According to the Cultural Studies in Addiction, a number of Americans used opium, morphine, lanolin, cannabis, heroin, and cocaine and well into the early 1900s without any type of regulation. In 1906, the Food and Drug Act was uh, passed and it was set up to prevent uh, drugs being put in patented medicines. And up until then, actually, uh, the drink Coca-Cola had uh, cocaine in it. It contained cocaine. The Harrison Act of 1914 was passed uh, after the Food and Drug Act, and it was passed to regulate actually the distribution and sale of drugs. But in that law, uh, the country also banned the use of opiates and cocaine by the American public. And prohibition in the 1920s was another federal law attempting to stop the drinking of alcohol in America. The law was amended in 1933. And actually, prohibition never worked uh, because Americans drank and distributed alcohol illegally. You know, bootleggers and moonshiners became very popular. In the 1950s and 60s, actually, the uh, organization Alcoholics Anonymous began to contribute to how society viewed alcoholics. But drug use and addiction were still viewed as a moral issue, and incarceration being the primary solution and treatment for drug addicts. In the 1960s, psychedelic drugs such as LSD became popular with the new hippie culture. Also in the 1960s, racism began to contribute to how minorities uh, drug users were being disproportionately uh, incarcerated because of their drug use. And unfortunately, that trend of disproportionate incarceration of minority drug users still exists to today. So according to the American Addiction Center, the belief that addiction is a choice and not a disease is now basically shared by only a real small group and a few individuals, uh, no major organization that deals with uh, drugs and alcohol addiction recognizes uh, that stigma anymore. The DSM-5, which is the Diagnostic Statistical Manual, referred to as the Psychiatric Bible, refers to drug addiction as a substance abuse disorder. The belief that addiction is a moral failing is now viewed as an outdated and ill-formed relic of the past. According to the American Psychiatric Association, the stigma surrounding addiction contributes and continues to be a part of uh, American society. 
but it's being lifted as more and more people are learning about addiction and how it actually takes hold. A major shift has occurred in how Americans view drug addiction, though drug is still a problem in America, which is, consumes a lot of our resources. The idea of it being a moral issue is declining because addiction now touches the core of our society, our family, our friends, and our loved ones. You know, it's difficult now to see the afflicted as those weak-willed people over there. And I've heard it explained like this to me. Addicts are not bad people trying to get good. They're sick people trying to get well.